What's happening guys? Cody here with Edge Pro Sharpening Systems. And yesterday was the last day of a spring bear hunt that a friend of mine and I went on out in Eastern Oregon. So I'll probably end up sharing some short clips of the uh, of some highlights that I was able to capture on video. Definitely wasn't able to capture all the highlights. And while we were out here, my uh, cousin Charity, she happens to have a ranch out on the Zumwalt Prairie that has um, just a ton of elk on it, lots of deer. Uh, unfortunately, there's no bears on there. But, um, but Tom and I wanted to go out there and do a little bit of shed hunting while we were on our trip. And, and she was nice enough to let us go there and stay there for a couple of days. In exchange, she asked that I sharpen a couple of knives for her. So I thought that'd be a perfect opportunity for me to do a little sharpening video while I'm out here on my hunt. Sharpening knives for people is just a really nice thing that you can do for someone, um, especially after someone does a big favor for you. You can kind of use sharpening as like a, a bartering tool. So I don't know if that's something that you guys have thought of before, but it's just a really easy way to show somebody appreciation because um, most people don't have that skill and they're not able to sharpen knives themselves, but, um, but you can. So the first knife she wanted me to sharpen was a Mora. I ended up sharpening this thing, resting on the flat. I set the angle to 21 degrees, kind of my go-to angle for most knives. Sharpen it right up. Only took me about maybe seven minutes total from beginning to end, and that's while I was filming. So the second knife that I ended up sharpening was one that held a lot of emotional attachment and significance to my cousin Charity because her grandma gave it to her and her grandma recently passed. So I wanted to make sure that I did an extra good job on it and was really careful with it. The second knife is one that I would normally use the small knife attachment on, but I didn't have a small knife attachment with me. I didn't think about bringing it on this hunting trip. so. So this is a good opportunity for me to show you how I would sharpen a small knife without the small knife attachment. The small knife attachment is a luxury to have, but it's not a necessity, but I would still recommend it. When you're sharpening a small knife without the small knife attachment, it's just important that you put the tip of the knife slightly in front of the blade table so that you're not getting any contact with the stone in the front corner of the machine. I ended up sharpening on the flat, Again, set at 21 degrees. Total time on this knife, I probably spent right around 15 minutes on it. And sometimes you just don't know how long it's going to take you to sharpen a knife until you just get in there and start start doing it. That's a question I get a lot, is how long does it take you to sharpen a knife on the Edge Pro? And that's a really tough question to just give a straightforward answer. Some knives, they'll, they'll just sharpen right up, and you can have them done in 5 minutes, sometimes less. And sometimes you'll be surprised at the type of knife that will take you a lot longer to sharpen. But I can say this, if you're going to be sharpening the same knife over and over on the Edge Pro, the first time you sharpen that knife, it's going to take you the longest. Because it takes a second to get the bevel in perfect alignment. But when you go back and resharpen that knife, that's when you're going to really start to save a dramatic amount of time. Because you're going to know what angle that knife was previously sharpened, the bevel is going to be in perfect harmony with your Edge Pro, and you're going to be able to bring the edge back in just a matter of a couple of minutes when you're resharpening a knife, if you're doing it properly. We ended up not getting a bear. I won't bore you guys with the story, but if anybody does want to hear it, feel free to give me a call and I'll, I'd be happy to share uh, the experience that I had out here, because we came really close, and I mean really close. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this sharpening video. There maybe wasn't a whole lot of um, sharpening technique involved in this video, but mostly I wanted to get you guys thinking about 
sharpening, you know, whether it be for trade, you don't just have to sharpen your own knives. People really appreciate when you're able to use a skill that you've learned and um, let someone else benefit from something that you can do or something that you already have the equipment for. My cousin Charity would have let us go out there and hang out on the ranch whether I was going to sharpen her knives or not. But I was really glad that I was able to give something back by sharpening these knives for her. Sharpening knives might be able to um, open up doors to you that weren't previously opened. Maybe it's going to um, create a new friendship with you and somebody or just open up a door of opportunity for you. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Now I got to go break down camp and begin the eh, about a five hour drive back to Hood River so I can get back to making knife sharpeners. Thanks for watching guys. See you again soon. I certainly don't want his mom to come over here and stomp my ass. So I'm gonna back up a little bit, let him be. There were some elk further down the draw. I'm sure one of those is his mom. I mean, I think I had to have just been born within a couple of days, within the last couple of days. Well, we spotted him from about 100 yards away. I mean, we... Little guy just lays right there in the grass and lets us walk right up on him. Pretty cool stuff, man.